Now, this is not one shape, and I would like for this to be a shape. First, before we delve into how we're going to make it a shape, I'm going to zoom all the way in and make sure that my points are exactly over each other. This is going to be really important when we unite these two shapes. And right now it may look like they're overlapping, but what you want to do is just click and drag this until you see that word intersect. And once you have that word, you know that this is directly overlapping this line. They are overlapping on this top anchor point. What we're going to use to unite these two shapes, we're going to select them both first. We're going to use our Pathfinder. It is right here for me. You may not have this here in your palette. If you do not, then you can go to Window and find the Pathfinder and click. Your Pathfinder may end up something like this. And if it does, you can just click this and hover it right there until you see that blue line. And then you know that it's going to snap into your palette. I like to keep mine in the palette. This is entirely up to you. There are a lot of options here in your Pathfinder and you could play around with these if you want to. I will tell you that you want this first one. It's called Unite. And when you click on that, it will unite these two shapes. And if I zoom out, you can see that I have one shape right there. So we have our middle shape, we have our two side shapes. The only thing we have left for this one is this last one right here. So let's zoom into that and finish this puppy up. Grab your pen tool. You can grab it from your, your uh, toolbox or you can select P. Click on a corner and start using that pen tool. Again, remember that the less points that you use, the smoother the, the line is going to be. Now, notice how this one went down and this one is coming up. That may make this a little bit um, wonky. So what you can do is if I know that I'm going to be um, having a straight line, I can hold down shift like we talked about earlier. Whoops. Hold down shift after you click and it will make that a straight line. I can drag all the way out here and come down to about the same height as the point right here and click and drag to complete that curve. And I'm just going to click and drag right here and then again hold down Alt to change the direction of that handle. Click and drag. Again, I can hold down Shift to make sure that it's that this stays straight. Okay, so we have a fleur de lis with all of our separate shapes. The last thing you need to do is to merge them. So select all of your shapes, again go back to that Pathfinder, and unite. And there you have the fleur de lis. Here is the original, and here is the outline that we made.